Hey guys, what's up and how are you all doing? So in today's video, I thought it'd be super fun if I showed you all some of my favorite drugstore makeup products. Some of the products in this video I will be swatching on my hands, but for the ones that I will not be swatching, I will probably just be showing like a close-up. If you would maybe like to see the high-end version of this video, or maybe just a completely different type of video, then make sure to comment down below your suggestions, and I will definitely take them into consideration. If you enjoy this video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and make sure to also hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So here is the first item, which is actually a foundation. This is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Classic Beige, and it actually it matches my skin tone really well. Most foundations that are applied on my face tend to break out my skin just because my skin is very sensitive, especially the cheaper branded foundations, but this one is actually so affordable and it only really makes my skin red after applying it, which for my skin to only turn red instead of fully breaking out is a huge plus. <laughs> This foundation is also very dewy, but it also has a really nice matte finish. And it also gives usually no flashback when taking photos, which is a huge plus as well. And the little label on this actually says that it has no flashback right here. Next, I'm going to be showing you all some of my favorite concealers. And it looks like there are three here, but it's technically only two since this is the same brand, just in different shades. Oh my gosh, my foot is asleep and it really hurts right now. So these are the NYX or the NYX Professional Makeup HD Studio Photogenic Concealers. This one is in the shade Fresh Beige and this one is in the sh Oh wait. Why the heck did I get two fresh beiges? I'm like really confused. <laughs> These two were also very affordable, only around like four to six dollars, I'm pretty sure. And these are also really high, really high coverage. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say, except that I really do like these two concealers. And I would definitely actually recommend these, especially if you were looking to get something on the cheaper side and you were on a budget. Then I have this concealer, and this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer. The thing that's very special about this one is that it actually has this little like sponge on the top of it, which I actually find this kind of helpful, but I do find that this can get easily dirty and it's not really washable. So that is one of the downsides about this concealer. The coverage of this one though is also very full and very nice. And it also has a matte finish to it, which I really like. Next, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade, I'm pretty sure it's Nude Beige. This one is pretty cool because it actually comes with like an applicator and a mirror on the bottom of it, which I think is kind of cool, except I don't really like the applicator and I would recommend just using your own brush or sponge to apply this. This one was around $8, I think, and I really like it. I love how simple it is and how you only need to apply a little bit of it to get a super matte finish. This one does have a very faint kind of foundation-y makeup smell to it, but it's barely noticeable, so I wouldn't really say that that is a bad thing. This powder also performs really well with the matching foundation. I actually also have the foundation right here. Next, I'm going to be talking about this Physician's Formula Bronzer, which I love so much. First of all, the smell of this is so good. It's like tropical slash coconutty, which is also the theme of the packaging, as you can see. This is also in the shade Deep Bronzer. Also on the bottom of it, it also has this little like applicator thing. But again, I would recommend using your own brush to apply this. But one of the main reasons why I love this bronzer so much is because it has such a smooth application and I just really, really, really do like it. I would say though that I probably should have gotten this in a darker shade, but that is my own fault. And also I feel like in order for this to be travel friendly, it should be maybe a little bit smaller because I do feel like they could have reduced the size of this packaging. But other than that, I really do love this bronzer. Next, I have two very fun blushes. So this is the Essence Matte 
touch blush and i got this one from ulta for only i think three to four dollars which is very affordable this is also very nice for traveling purposes because it is very small but this is in the shade bury me up and the number 20 and it says that this is a matte and super soft blush for a fresh look all day long which i agree with not only that but this shade is so perfect and it's just like a super nice rosy kind of tone and i don't know i just really do like it and i think it looks super good on the cheeks obviously and applying a little bit of this goes a very long way so you could definitely use this for a very long time and it wouldn't run out for a while and here is the second blush which is an elf active workout ready lip and cheek palette and i think it is so cool that you can use this on your cheeks and lips but personally i like to use this for blush it also comes with a small mini mirror on the top of it and i'm pretty sure this is meant for like if you're out doing exercise or working out then this will stay on your lips or cheek even if you're super sweating gross it should still stay on i'm not entirely sure why there is a white color in this palette because i don't really understand why you put just straight white on your cheeks or lips i mean i guess maybe if you applied like too much of this pinky color right here um and you wanted it to be lighter then you can lighten it up with the white but other than that no complaints and i bought this one at tj maxx for only around like three dollars it was very inexpensive and it also stays on for a super long time which i really do like next i have two very fun and very pretty highlighters this is a wet n wild highlighting powder mega glow in the shade precious petals and this is just so so pretty i already applied some to my nose but i think i'm just gonna apply a little bit more right now and as you can see it is so noticeable and just so bright and beautiful i personally am in love with this highlighting little mini palette and especially for only paying around like five dollars for this gorgeous long-lasting highlighter it's just like it's mind-blowing this would definitely be one of my top recommendations in this entire video especially since this is just so affordable and honestly works like a high-end highlighter if i'm being honest and here is the second highlighter this one i got in a shade that is way too light but it's okay because i can put them in my two inner corners which i actually did do that and i do that very often because i love this shade so much and i also love the smooth application this is in the shade pearl and this is the physician's formula butter highlighter and a pattern that you will see in the physician's formula brand is that all of their products are super soft and very smooth. And this also has a super nice kind of tropical slash coconutty scent. So if you're into that kind of thing, then I would definitely recommend that you go pick this up. And this was around, I think like $9. It is also travel friendly because it is so tiny. <laughs> then I have these three mascaras, which I love all these mascaras so much. And I usually switch between them on a daily basis. The first one you've probably already heard me talk about a ton, but this is the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber waterproof l'oreal mascara and there's basically two ends to this so the number two side is basically like this type of shape this is actually the side that i prefer using i just feel like it suits my lashes better and then the second side this is the number one side is like this hourglass type of shape which i also really like this one but i feel like the number two side just shapes my lashes kind of perfectly. If you want to hear more about this mascara, you can probably check out some of my other makeup videos because I talk about this one a lot. But this one was, I think, around like 12 bucks on Amazon. Then I have this Essence Blue Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara, and this is waterproof. This mascara, I have so much to say about it. I just really, really do love it. It was super inexpensive, only $5 for this like huge mascara and this is what the brush looks like i really do like the shape of this one i feel like if you want to get into your like corner or apply mascara on the tiny parts of your lashes this brush would definitely be great for doing that and you can get these essence products at ulta as well and for this last mascara i'm sure you've heard about this one everywhere because it is a basic essential this is the great lash maybelline new york again waterproof very black mascara this brush is very tiny so it is also 
very easy to get into the corners with this type of brush. This was also four to five dollars, so again, very inexpensive, which is a trend that you will see with the drugstore makeup products, obviously. I personally just really do like this mascara, and I would recommend all three of these probably equally. There's only two more products left to show in this video, one of which being this e.l.f. eyeliner. I literally like two days ago just started obsessing over eyeliner, but I feel like this e.l.f. eyeliner for only three bucks is just so good, especially for a beginner. It does dry out kind of fast, but again, what do you expect for only three bucks? And I feel like this brush isn't super precise, so if you did want to spend more money, then you could probably get a better eyeliner. But I think for a beginner, like myself this would be a great option then for the very last makeup product this is the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss and this is in the behind the scenes shade aka like a clear lip gloss as it says all over the outside this is a very wet looking lip gloss and it is just so pretty and it is also only about three dollars which is so inexpensive and affordable let me actually just apply some of this now because why not as you can probably tell, it is very glossy, wet, and it makes your lips look fuller, which those are all great bonuses, at least in my own opinion. But I just really do love this lip gloss, and I would definitely recommend it. So that is all I have for you all in this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and make sure to also follow my Instagram, which will be right here. And it will also be in the description box down below. Make sure to also comment down below some video suggestions because I would love to hear what you all want me to film in the future. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. Bye guys, love you guys so much. Peace out.